शुक्लांबरधरम विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्याय सर्वघ्नोपशात व्यास विष्णुपय व्यासूपय विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निधे वासीय नमो नम इस स्मरण मात्रेण जन्म संसार बंधना मुच्यते नमस्तस्म विष्णवे प्रभु विष्णवे लक्ष्मीनाथ सरंभा नाथयाम नम ध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यत वंदे गुरुपरंपरा वार्ताय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामुसंदा भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेशिनी वसुदेव वसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्धनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु ओम नमो वेंकटेशय मे प्रणाम शिवरीपड़ी सो वी बीन रिकैप्चुलेटिंग द चैप्टर सिक्स ऑफ द भगवदगीता सो भगवान हेज बीन गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन एज टू हाउ वन शुड मेटिकुलसली Uh, follow certain instructions for doing the meditation so we have covered that yesterday so then uh, as long as your desires are completely removed then the mind becomes steady like you know the lamp without any wind is you know it's uh, it's not flickering it is just you know it's uh, steady so like that all our desires must be completely eradicated for the mind to become single pointed then subsequently saying in that in this uh, this yoga where the perf- man perfects it is uh, dhyana yoga In that samadhi avastha, one's mind is completely re- restrained from the, you know, this mental activities. It becomes completely stay, staying straight, straight fast into the jiva atma, the perfection. <clears throat> then the person, since he's getting united with the jiva atma, is able to enjoy. He sees, is able to enjoy the bliss. That's what in the joy state, which is beyond the sensory pleasures that you get by contact with the sensory organs. Then established in that particular truth, the person never. Comes out of that because once he enjoys the great bliss, one would never come back to a lower, lower, you know, bliss. Just as when you move away from a a locality which is not so good, which is dirty and all those things, you move to a different locality, you will never think of coming back to that locality. So like that, mind once it starts enjoying that bliss, it will never come back to the state of you know trying to enjoy the uh, the uh, the pleasures arising out of the sensory objects, sensory organs. So then even that situation, even the the greatest of the sorrows a person may undergo. From outside point of view, but uh, as far as he is concerned, he is not compl- moved at all from that point of you know this bliss. That's what Bhagwan says. So uh, he is asking Arjuna. So please follow the practice of this Dhyana Yoga with faith and uh, compl- uh, with uh, you know practice. You keep on doing that. One um, and the pro- and the process one should be able to slowly detach oneself from the various desires that one has to one can encounter during the process. So. step by step slowly you get into that stage of you know it it, it can't just happen overnight we have to start practicing it regularly one slow, slowly but steadily that's what bhagwan is suggesting then once you do that the mind will also get the, the intellect will get complete conviction and therefore slowly it mind will also start going into that path because once you start enjoying the bliss the mind will never like to go come back go go back to something else and therefore you will be slowly getting into that so that's what bhagwan is saying so <clears throat> प्रशात मनस ह्यनम योगिनम सुखम उत्तम उपैति शांतरजस ब्रह्मभूत ब्रह्मभूत अकलमशम अकलमशम सो स्लोली वेन 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 इट गोस देयर देन ऑल दिस डर्ट्स और द इंप्यूरिटीज इन द माइंड व्हिच आर नथिंग बट द कर्मास एंड द वासनास दे गेट फेड दे गेट कंप्लीटली रिमूव्ड एंड देन द माइंड बिकम्स क्वाइट प्रशात मनस सो देन यू विल स्टार्ट एंजॉयिंग दैट ब्लिस ऑफ दिस आनंदम दैट द स्टेज बाय द द माइंड विल स्लोली गेट इनटू दैट सो देयरफॉर अर्जुन सो ऑलवेज get into this mode of you know this yogi vigata kalma shah with uh, with the purity of the mind so the, then you will get that the greatest bliss of enjoyment that's what you will you will get that so then what will be the kind of vision that the person who has got into that stage will be sarva bhutastam atmanam sarva bhutani chatmani ichate yoga yukta atma sarvatra samadarshane that means he will start seeing not only he will see the atma in himself he is seeing the same atma in all the other people also so he will be seeing the see, seeing himself in all the people and all the people in himself that means he is establishing the identity of the jivatma all the jivatmas are only the sachidananda swarupam and therefore he is he can establish that identity with that and therefore he will be able to see that atma in all the jiv all the, all the beings that's what bhagwan is saying second stage is when he is not only he will be able to see the jivatma in himself he will also be able to see the paramatma व्योमा पश्यति सर्वत्र सर्वम च मई पश्यति तस्या हम न प्रणश्यामि सच मई प्रणश्यति दैट मींस दैट पर्सन विल बी एबल टू सी द द परमात्मा इन हिमसेल्फ नॉट ओनली इन हिमसेल्फ ही इज बी एबल टू सी द परमात्मा इन ऑल द बीइंग्स वंस ही स्टार्ट्स ऑल द बीइंग्स देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ यू नो द्वेष राग द्वेष एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स विल नॉट बी देयर सो बी बिकम्स द द द पर्सन बिकम्स एब्सोल्युटली यू नो फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दिस राग द्वेष एंड देन दैट पर्सन विल 
never get destroyed. That means the jivatma. That means he has established himself to the jivatma. Therefore, he will not have the feeling of he is getting, you know, the mood hither and thither. So that kind of a shanti, and he will never get destroyed. And then he, he and he also will remain in in me always. That's what Bhagwan says. Sarva bhuta sthitam sthitas yo mam bhaje bhajati yekat yekatma vastita ha sarvatra sarvada vartamano pisa yogi mayi vartati. That means. That kind of a person who is able to see in me in all the beings and also worships me, that person, he wherever he is, is always remaining united with me. He is the greatest person who is re remaining, is always in me, wherever he may be. He, he physically, he may be located in different places. He may be in different place, but then he is always united with me. That's what Bhagwan is giving that comfort to that person. Then <clears throat> he will be able to see the equanimity. That's what we said because once he is able to see the Atma in all the beings, he will be able to see the. He will be able to see the. Equanimity. That's what we saw. No, Pandita ha samadarsina. The all this he becomes a learned person or a revelation person who will be able to see the 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 God or the Himself in all the beings. That's what uh, in this this fifth chapter also we saw that. No, Vidya vene sampanne Brahmane gavi astini Pandit suni chayve supa ke chas Pandita ha samadarsi. So he's able to see all the things, including the wicked persons. He's able to see the Paramatma, and therefore he doesn't have any, you know, this uh, different vision. His vision will be samadarsina. Then Arjuna asked this question, uh, saying that you know, you, you very, uh, Arjuna, Krishna, you very well explained to me the process of doing the dhyana, but then because of the you know this uh, unstable nature of the mind, the mind is always chanchal. I will keep moving from one object to the another. I don't think it's be difficult to control the mind. It's like controlling a hurricane or a you know storm. One, no one can control the hurricane or the storm like that. I, I think mind is so difficult to control. That's what he says. Bhagwan says the beautiful sloka 35. Ashamshayam Mahabahu Mano Durkraham Chalam Abhyasena Tukauntheya Vairagya Nacha Grihya. That means Bhagavan says, very, uh, Arjuna, what you said is absolutely true. There is no doubt on that. Ashamshayam Mahabahu. But then you are a great valorous person. That means you've got a great shoulder. Mahabahu. That means you can you can achieve whatever you want by, you know, uh, 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 practicing it. That's why he's using the word Mahabahu. Yes, difficult to control the mind, but it's not impossible. It's, it's difficult, but not impossible. That's the point Bhagavan is making. Mano Durgraham Chalam is Bhagavan is uh, the mind is always waywardness, but then Abhyasa in the context, a steady practice. So you have to keep working at it regularly. And then Vairagya and Chagre. Vairagya means one way of looking at Vairagya is uh, all our desires get you know completely nullified. That's one. Other Vairagya means having special attachment to this goal of controlling the mind. So that means you will have the goal of controlling the mind. You will have to uh, you know, uh, steadfast at it. Uh, you know, the, the, and then if you put practice into it, this is the formula of our success. For anything you achieve in this world, you must be steadfast to the goal. You don't, you should not give up at any point of time. Doesn't matter, even if there are 101 obstacles that come in the way, I will fight through it. So then, abhyasinath, that means once a practice, person practices, definitely he will be able to achieve that. That's what Yoganam, Purushasimam, Upaiti Lakshmi. That means a person who is, you know, very brave, Purushasimam. Very brave in trying to achieve the goal, Udyoganam. That means he keeps on putting his efforts. Will always be successful, and the Lord, the goddess of uh, the goddess of wealth, Mahalakshmi, will certainly reach him. That's what the you know one of the the, the the sayings in the Sanskrit. So that's what Bhagwan is also saying here. Then a person asam uh, asamyaatma. That means a person who is not able to control the mind. That means that person will know it will be it will be difficult for him to reach the goal or uh, reach the moksha. But a person who is able to con control, who has got the capability to control the mind, will definitely reach the goal, which is that moksha. That's what Bhagwan is saying. Second question, which Arjuna says, then so Arjuna says that you know, a person who is, is uh, regularly practicing this, you know, this uh, yoga, dhyana yoga, but then because of this, you know, this uh, prarabdha karma, that means the body at the end of the prarabdha karma, the body perishes, or for some reasons he has got away from this path of this meditation. What happens to that person? He neither got the, you know, the pleasures of enjoying this world, nor is got into this moksha. So that means that person is completely, you know, this uh, perished. That's what Arjuna is asking this question. So Bhagavan says, <clears throat> my my the person who is practicing this dhyana yoga will never get destroyed. That's what he so the nashyati that means he never you'll never uh, you know get uh, destroyed. And uh, <clears throat> that is uh, uh, any person kalyana krit, that means any person who is doing a good act. Nahi kalyana krit kaschit. Any good act a person does durkatim uh, he doesn't go into the durkat, that means he doesn't go to any you know the bad locas like Naraka and other places. So a person who is always doing good acts will never get into this. Uh, will never go into any you know this uh, wrong paths, or he will never go into this narakas, and therefore he will not suffer anything. So therefore, 
know, this, this is na uh, eva not only in this world but also in the world so when he leaves this body he, that person never vinashati na vinashati that means he will never get destroyed so bhagwan is giving that comfort to arjuna as well as all of us saying that you so is following the path of dharma or uh, this jnana yoga will never get destroyed so what is what bhagwan is saying is whatever uh, once he leaves this body he goes into this various lokas which are uh, which are available for the people who do this punya karmas like you know this varga lokam chandra lokam pitru lokam all those lokas but he, he goes to the those kind of lokas supposing if when he leaves this body as this desires saying that i want to enjoy that i want to enjoy this all those things that desires should be fulfilled by going to the different lokas that person goes to different lokas for a long period of time shashvati samaha that means he spends life because the deva loka one year is uh, one day is equal to our one year that means if you want to spend so many years that means it will be equal to so many years hundreds of years of our loka and that's why bhagwan is saying you'll spend a long period of time over there that's why you know if you have this kind of desires what will happen is you'll have to go to different lokas you'll have to spend long periods of time again you'll have to come back to this world only and then again going to moksha so it's better not to you know desire for all those things because it only prolong your process of you know get, getting into the moksha that's the that's the reason anyway if a person has that kind of desires he goes to these lokas for a long period of time after enjoying the benefits and comforts over those lokas suchi naam srimatam gehe yoga prashto bich that means he, is, he gets uh, gets birth into a place where it is the, the family is absolutely pure in terms of spiritual matters as well as they got relatively wealthy in the sense that they don't have to you know uh, fight for their day to day living and then uh, fight for the day to day bread and therefore they will be in a comfortable relatively comfortable position so that they will be able to concentrate more on the spiritual matter that's what bhagwan is saying so you will get that kind of a, a birth or if we, they, when the person leaves this body he doesn't have any other desire other than you know to attain moksha he is immediately born he doesn't go to any other lokas he is immediately born into a people who are already experts at this yoga people are already perfected this dhyana yoga will get fall in, will get birth into this with that kule yogi naam athava yogi naam meva kule bhavati dhimata so that means a person who, they, these people also have very sharp intellects also so those people you'll get born into that that kind of a family etati durpal but it's very difficult for a person to get this kind of a birth because not many people have this kind of a, you know situation where they have all the diseases have been completely eradicated but anyway if he is a god that then definitely is will he will be immediately born therefore that means there is no question of you know long period of time for him to get back into this moksha that's what bhagwan is saying having born into those kind of families he will continue you no know, parva devi come that means he will continue to follow the uh, the path that was that was practiced by him in the previous when he took the previous janmas previous births and therefore he will keep on putting much more greater efforts and then he will ultimately reach this and this ultimate goal of reaching the moksha that's what bhagwan says purva abhyasena tena eva kriyate heva shopi that means he, even though if he even if he is wavered uh, he is not very uh, 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 consciously putting in efforts for you know getting into this path he will pulled he avashopya that means he will be pulled into his, in this direction because of the pre- previous karmas and vasanas and of course he will keep practicing putting this efforts that's what he is saying a person who is more only interested in knowing about these things itself is much greater person and that is even greater than the purple person who is performing only this karma yoga that is you perform this various uh, uh, the rituals perform mentioned in this uh, this uh, karma kanda of the vedas that is what the mimamsa is the mimamsa is that people who perform the various actions uh, initiated in this vedas the karma kanda uh, for the purpose of enjoying the benefits so this person even if a person who is doesn't even practice but he just is eager to know jignasu that means he wants to know more about this the, this the dhyana yoga that person itself is greater than a perfect person who is performing this karma kanda that the reactions for initiating the karma kanda then <clears throat> when, when then bhagwan says with all this uh, all this uh, the, 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 the what do you call this um, when he's with continuing performing that all his uh, dirts in the mind completely gets washed up and ultimately if uh, the person having got this birth after many many births of practice in the siyanoga ultimately attains the supreme goal of reaching me that's what it is so this uh, person who is practicing the siyanoga is better than tapasvihi a person who is performing the various penances is better than the jnani that means if people are only uh, trying to intellectually understand this uh, you know this uh, vedanta is even better than that then karma bhi that means a person who is also performing this various yaga gyas and other things which are initiated in this uh, this karma kanda is better than all these people and therefore arjuna i want you to become a yogi tasmat yogi bhava arjuna so arjuna i want you to become a yogi that's what bhagwan is saying again finally in the last shloka he says yogi naam api sarvesham madgate na antaratmana shraddhavan bhajate yomam same yukta tamo mataha that means this person is much much greater <clears throat> 
it's much much greater than uh, yogi na there are different people who follow the different paths that is people who perform the yana yoga people who perform the you know this uh, karma yoga raja yoga all those things bhagwan says among all those yoga this yogi is much better than all of them because he comes to me with this internal i mean this is atma completely surrendered to me madgate and that means he's been thinking about me he becomes he has total faith in me and then bhajate that means he is keep placing into me slowly bringing in the concept of bhakti yoga into us and therefore finally bhagwan says that person is the greatest person who is ever united with me among all the people who are united with me that's what bhagwan says that so with that we complete the chapter 6 of the bhagavad gita from tomorrow onwards we'll take up the jnana uh, vigyana yoga which is the seventh chapter of the bhagavad gita so from 7th to 12th bhagwan is going to talk about tat all along he has been talked about tvam tvam means you that is a jivatma 1 to 6 was about jivatma all about your arjuna what he should do karma yoga karma sanyas yoga karma nyasa yoga then finally the dhyana yoga so all related to the jivatma from 7th to 12th bhagwan is going to talk about paramatma ultimately the 12th chapter ending with the bhakti yoga that's what he is going to talk about the second portion among the tattva masi so we'll see what it is from tomorrow onwards वसुदेवसुतमर्दनमेकमंदे जगद्गु सर्व श्रीकृष्णापणमस्तु कृष्ण 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 कृष्ण